Shumare kere na kere koro no koro takele i kara i kere i tono ma reta i no rose keishe. Kere me i sanara atake te ke i malu na re nere te ki te i mai u kru tu 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 ta 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 i sini taki. Kru u sha ki te ki te i mala kere i toko ma kere i nara rasi ka i shukuro taka ta i nare te ke li. Kere na ta ra na ra taka re ke i molo re na ra na ra na ra na ra ki a yos. Kere na lori ama re na i muru su noru i ma ke shu no 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 i kare ina le ra ma i suru no no to ko ai ashi. Kere na ta re na re ta re mi a ya na ta 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 re te na na ta i koro ure te ke ta i ma re si ta i shu. Kere e mala kere no ko e ta e nara ia sa i makuru ure di shikara e te kaha e nga toro to ko e te kete i tara taka le mari o ia sina. Kere e nalo mai e nga sina e sunoro to kara e rene e la ia nga e shikur te ke e nga e nga ko o te le nga e nga ta e nga si. I bakuru u te ke na i te mlera no re na i na i na re na i u ya shiri tili ke re ma i ke re i a ya kala. Welcome to this light language transmission today. I was shown people doing rituals um, in the woods or in nature with pieces of wood, um, with feathers, with crystals, with lights, candles, plenty of things. I'm not sure if you are doing rituals or if you should be taking one of your crystals into your hands again. There's something about protection needed at this time or maybe something happened in your life that um, should remind you of keeping your protection up. Not, um, it's nothing to be afraid of. You should just not let it down. <laughs> <laughs> like keep it up the protection keep it up and there's something about fruits also because just before the transmission I felt like eating fruit which is well I do love fruit but it's interesting that it just happened before the transmission I um, I saw 11 11 and then I felt like eating fruit fresh fruit and the funny thing is, while eating this fruit, I felt such a, um, how do I explain this? It was as if I was going inside of this fruit. So probably they want, either they want you to eat more fruit, fresh fruit, or they want you to know that there's a divine fruit, something with, um, I don't know, <laughs> As if you were a fruit, you know, very fresh, very juicy, <laughs> very... Mm, there's a lot of sunshine inside of you, or there's a lot of light, like in fruits. And they can bring health to people. And Huka anare i tae ma suru no roshi kara anale kara anna mako o teera ara na keira isi. A clear crystal will always help you get clarity. If you need clarity, ka na si na te iti ko mish i kara ara na kile i ukuro. Te na ta atake i ma asete i shuru no kuro takele na indoro takele i. 
ui kara nda i ai likere ma e nu rossi nda i kerishi kara alenda nda ku uri teki ai kurene de inna la i ta in marasi it's um they are making the connection between eating this fruit and you in a sense um and you have a very warm heart. You have a heart that is connected to the heart of Gaia, Mother Earth. And this is why the impulses or the ideas you sometimes get come from Mother Earth. It's about love and health also. Health, um, you might be watching your, I don't know, is it your weight or your um, body shape or something with your body how your vessel feels and you're tuning into your body more and more or getting this the information and there's something with this fruit I can't really get it yet I could not see in the mercy they're comparing you to a fruit like <laughs> um, I don't know why um, and I hear it's the best thing to eat or it's the best thing or it's the purest thing or something like this and they're saying there's source in it I think nothing makes sense to me today but it's about creation so maybe you want to create more or you want to create i don't know you, you might want to give birth to a child or you have projects in mind or something and they want you to be faithful to your mind your body your heart your soul faithfulness comes through i don't know if you had to deal with unfaithful people or faithfulness is somehow coming through and this is a reminder for you to be faithful to you to your soul to i also hear your dragon so maybe you're very connected to your dragon dragons are coming through a lot and and i can see someone writing dragon language i don't know if they got light codes through but there's dragon light codes coming through and I can see someone writing them down or, or drawing them or painting them or I can see the hands so it's something with the hands or it's coming through the hands Mm, there's this is why the protection needs to be kept up because your light is amplifying or you I don't know if you have another if you eat differently or if you have raised your light even more because it feels like you have stepped up even more or you keep on stepping up and raising your frequency and and growing and growing and your light is shining more and more and more and more <laughs> I can see more and the thing is through this people that have um, ill intentions towards you are getting the other side um, you know like you are raising your frequency you're feeling better and better while others feel less I don't know why less comes through it's as if some beings and they f these people look very dark or they look like they have entities on them or they are ill somehow they are misplaced I don't know it's as if they weren't the, the light that you carry scares them and because they want to close their eyes they don't want to see the truth and you bring out truth wherever you go somehow without speaking you just bring the light into you know it's like you bring the light into a room and then you light up the things that um, people want to hide I'm 
They're speaking a lot about your light and I don't know, they keep on showing me this fruit and it's a yellow fruit. So maybe this is in, important. It's a yellow fruit or you can eat fruits that um, I hear amplify or clear your chakras. So if you need more security, stability, eat red fruit. If you need more strength, eat yellow fruit. If you need more vision or you want to talk, um, I can see blueberries. Okay, so, so choose the color you need it, or you're much more aligned. You somehow come into a new connection of, or, or your vessel, your body is part of mother earth but it's well you know that but it's it's um the thing is mother earth is speaking through your body somehow you have you might have connected your heart to the heart of the planet to mother earth and this is why you're getting these hints and ideas and sometimes dreams or visions or you just feel drawn to a place where someone gives you something. You are protected. Um, just make sure that this is part of your daily ritual, especially if you know there are people out there wanting to um, take your light away. I am speaking to a very sensitive souls out there I can feel it like you are looking fragile and a lot of people or or they look at you as being someone who's not able to do certain things or they feel like you don't have strength or they know you're a very good person and they want to just step over you because they know you wouldn't do anything um, mean to them somehow and they're getting darker and darker while trying to do this so this is why your light is amplifying and getting lighter and lighter this is interesting it's as if we were all we are all interconnected it feels oh okay so they're saying that the light is is amplifying but the darkness also is um trying to get stronger um or um getting servants this is interesting i'm hearing the darkness is trying to get more people staying in the darkness so uh, it has something to do with your creation or with what you're doing with your light or your intentions maybe this is why they try to also bring fear into your life so you you won't have to fear because the informations you need will come to you and you need to trust your body your mind your soul your guidance your your whole being and I hear trust, trust. I can even see it written in front of my, my eye. They're showing me mountains again. And are these Nephilim beings, very huge beings that they have showed me before? And they look like they have red hair or, or, or flames as hair or something. Fire is also significant because i don't know if you have burned something you have written something down and you burnt it or you have done a transformation ritual or something with fire you might have just camped and had a campfire or or you have um tried to find out what you can burn i don't know something that you want to transform or you want it to let it go and it's not always the things that we want to let go of that we burn we sometimes burn things to transform or to help the transition 
um, I get in that. It, I can even see. I can even see someone burning a beloved being. Got my sin no shouldn't that it again that a lady to utar in the day nara aramalai go tata. And there's, with your light, there's um, this, I can see a fire inside of you. Um, and with the fruit, there's also freshness coming. I don't know if it, like they're giving me so many things at once. Um, the fire inside of you, you have a lot of warmth. You're very warm. You're very kind. You're extremely beautiful to sit next to it feels like everyone loves your light everyone loves the being you are which is attracting also a lot of envy a lot of jealousy a lot of people trying to um, bring you back down and this is why the protection needs to be kept up without fear like there's nothing you need to fear you just need to remember to um, set the intention that you are protected or to be you know to show gratitude or to speak to your guidance to speak to your dragon somehow maybe they want to have some fruit or I don't know maybe some fairies want some fruit or something with fruit okay there's okay I can feel like there's been rituals being done on you which is not good, um, but um, they are being stopped. This is probably why you need to um, renew your protection um, because I hear also it's fading away. So I don't know exactly what is fading away. Something is fading and something looks stronger in your life, but it's fading away. This is why it's coming back um, stronger or trying to um, put the seed of fear inside of you because I can feel you are not very you are not a very anxious person or you are liberating yourself from um, anxiety and from um, you're controlling what your mind thinks some of you are working with positive affirmations or or um, rewinding your mind getting the seat that There's, they're showing me a blue or a, a purple flower which has been eaten or used um, in tea to heighten the senses. There's something with sensitivity that is extremely heightened. I don't know if this is an ancient thing because I can also see pyramids so maybe this is coming from Egypt or from you know very very ancient times. and I can um, also see a passion is it passion fruit flowers you're creating your creation is flowing or it is flowing I feel or it will be flowing but I hear it's flowing already. I can see something flow and they're showing me different rivers, wide ones where the flow is, you know, there's a lot of flowing. Maybe you live near a, a river or near a body of water, something like that, or you wish to. And this is, I hear wish granted also. But, mm, there's things happening that you haven't planned or you didn't think it, they would turn out this way even though you have a very great vision you still have things happening to you that you need to react to or be flexible somehow it's um, they don't want you to be scared that's the main 
energy I'm getting and they, they want to know if you are focused on what you want to attract into your life or if you're focused on something you don't want anymore this is why you have to ask yourself do I need to burn something or do I need to let go of something because at this time somehow it's um, your intentions or you the, the energy you set into or where you put your energy right this is at this time very significant so focus always uh, on the good on what you want to achieve on your goals on um, where you want to live your perfect life your perfect health you know your body um, and I can I keep on seeing someone in a white dress or, or or wearing white and it's it feels like this I don't know if it's a um, a woman or if it's just a they want me to say a feminine energy flowing um, in the sea somehow and sometimes she looks like a feather uh, just floating you know on the top of the water and sometimes I can see a person but it's not always female like they, they it changes something with you must be an angel because when I see feathers I always think of angels kittens and some of you have had experiences with tunnels or portals or vortexes because I can see people being sucked <laughs> up in in tunnels so I don't know if this is a good or a bad thing but they are showing it to me as if it was normal so maybe this is normal to you or maybe you're doing a lot of astral traveling at this time and I can see someone using astral traveling for um, achieving their goals and um, you're allowed to do this like this is nothing bad because you're not hurting any anyone um, by doing this you're you have a pure heart and someone is I don't know if someone is working with the maths or doing maths or someone is trying to understand the structure or something that looks like very complicated mathematics <laughs> I couldn't it is maybe something to do with um, numbers or they also ask you if you know your strengths and if you're using them you probably know some of your strengths but you're not using them all and I hear superpowers so your sensitivity is one of your superpowers your um, ability to feel into things like this they keep on showing me this fruit I don't know what's happening with fruits <laughs> okay but fruits are very significant and they are showing me the when you eat a fruit and they're showing me also the insides and the outside and the inner world of the fruit and they're comparing it to mother earth um gaia and your body as well so and it's as if we were fruits And everyone who's in contact with this fruit, with you, with your light, gets some of the information that you share. Um, and I hear discipline, discipline, discipline. So maybe someone needs more discipline somewhere. You don't trust your gifts, you don't trust your um, strengths, or you don't trust your soul somehow, or some of you don't because <laughs> they want you. I don't know, I can see them 
you know, um, shaking you, going like, understand, or you are shaking someone trying to make others understand. And I hear it's not your job. Your job is to to set others on fire with your light without burning anything, just with your warmth and your clarity and your light. And you, you shouldn't feel scared because your light irritates demons, right? We know that. But um, your goodness also, you are such a good being. Your intention always, you know, you set inten intentions for the world, for others. You are working with angels. Some of you work together with angels because I can see you be part of the angel realm. Maybe you have an angelic name. You are part of the angelic realm or have been. And your wings, you might even have tattooed wings or something with wings or feathers or you love birds or something. You're also teaching others that try to find their luck or their light in the outside. You teach them to go inside. You know that it's in the inside that we find everything and it's the inner work um, that brings us freedom. Lizards, I can see lizards. You are friends with the lizards. Yeah, so I couldn't eat it and I could stack it and my ust crash. Listen to some of you have been fighting or working together with dark forces, but for the good somehow. So I don't know if you have in other times, okay, this is not this lifetime, but because you have um, worked or been in the dark worlds you know, and some of them are your friends. So not everything that um, is or looks dark is dark somehow, or not every, because they were just showing me um, lizards, not all lizards are, are bad, or I don't know, maybe you're scared of them. I could ask the ghost. Oh, okay, so they are saying you are given, or some of you were given the, <laughs> what is it? It looks like a see-through vision, an x-ray vision of things. You can see through beauty, you can see through ugliness, like it's, it's well, whatever, ugly and, and you know, this is something that humankind has set, you know, what is beautiful and what is ugly. So, but you can like see through, you can see through the masks, you can see through how something is presented to you. It's like, um, I hear fairy tales. So I don't know if you've read many fairy tales or if you write some, or if you have learned a lot of things through fairy tales, but there's, this teaching of you go and trust your heart you go and trust your soul you trust your guidance you trust the good and the light and this is why people can't fool you and even if something is presented to you and i hear demons so demons might try to present themselves to you in you know um, in a costume of beauty or in a costume of wealth or something like that and you will know or you see through those things you know that the most important thing is to trust yourself to be faithful to your guidance to your inner to your heart to the heart of mother earth you're I can see this connection of you with Mother Earth extremely strong. You're directly con connected to it. So 
if you're not sure you go back to mother earth you lie down or you just feel the pulse of mother earth or and you get the answers or you are getting answers from nature or elementals or other beings someone might have pain in the left hip or in the hips or something with the hips um, and I hear adjusting you're a, but you're appearing very protected I can see you in a golden globe <laughs> um, you know wandering around and and just doing your life you know you live your life um, but at the same time you're an extremely soft you know beautiful loving being that brings so much light and your light is expanding and I don't know what you're doing but your light is expanding which will attract more of these maybe people that have demons on them and want to hold you back or want to destroy I even hear destroy you like the the mm, the intentions they set towards you are getting bigger um, it's in direct connection to your intentions and your healing that you are doing and someone's working with dolphins I can see dolphins again Syrian energy and someone's called Sirius as well this could be um, a pet or or someone something was serious I could not but or someone is serious oh okay you have navigated through the dark times or dark phases in your life and this is where your trust has been tested and this is why the trust is now in implemented or inside of your self or this is why you don't fear you don't even fear death or you don't even fear I don't know you're you're very trusting somehow and some of you can cut off people and situations and things very quickly like they are able to cut them off or just not think about certain things and <laughs> I hear no mushrooms so I don't know what the mushrooms are doing in here or if someone is eating mushrooms but um or as a psychedelic or you know as a drug I don't know but um you have the power or you are your own drug somehow or you could be a drug for someone else I hear I'm sick because you bring health wherever whatever you say whatever you 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 speak you do in your movements um in your actions in your intentions you know you, you bring so much to others that um the dark forces somehow try to you know they're i can see them trembling going well um <laughs> i don't know if they are they probably are scared of you okay and I hear a lot of projection so you might also get a lot of projection or people um, saying things about you or have they have said a lot of mean things or things that weren't true and you don't have to think about this and you don't even have to bother about those things because you know where your attention goes okay um, the energy that it grows there where your energy goes the um, how do you say that you know mm. well whatever <laughs> the energy grows there you can just look at the plant and send her through your thoughts you send her healing or you send her growth or you know good things and she can hear you and she will grow and she will be there's a plant that was very brown and I can see her or him or the plant being very green after very little a, a very little time you somehow or you just make plants grow and not only plants so get miss Okay, 
know, he's shaking. There's mm, a lot of heat. I don't know if you are very hot. <laughs> you are probably hot with such an energy. But, um, you know, um, very, you, you feel the heat inside of you or you might get warm without reason. I hear that some of you have also reptilian DNA. And it doesn't make them less, it even, it doesn't make them less powerful. It even makes them even more powerful. Somehow, you know, like this is, or you have those two parts inside of you, the good and the bad, and you have managed to use the bad for the good and the good for the bad ones or something like this like to, to bring light and clarity to the darkness um get in the sea you're very very there's mm, there's i can see i can see i can see they look a bit like what are they called they look like um certain they look reptilian but it's it's in i can see different reptilian beings coming from the darkness and going to the light so there's this transition happening and it's without intent you don't even like or without intent it's somehow you don't directly bring someone from the darkness to the light you somehow just by being you you manage to make it possible or maybe you connect with others you have you might have a group of light workers around you or something or your friends are all light workers or the good ones maybe some of you are called that I, I don't know and there's a lot of karma being cleared and this is why a lot of also people or humans I can see humans being stuck um, somehow in near earth and it could be that some of them that have been stuck a long time and haven't been able to go into the light they are now going to the into the light you might have something to do with this. Guiding people to the light or guiding souls, lost souls to the light. And I also hear someone saying, look um, above you, look at the light and it will happen or something like they can raise or they can go then as soon as they see it. This is why a lot of people have their eyes um, closed or I can see that they have like a wheel or something um, in front of their eyes and they believe their lies. I hear someone's using their light language while drinking their coffee in the morning and they bring the light language to spread it over the city somehow there's also circles or cycles that i can see um, that are being um, cut and rearranged somehow because i saw circles and then i saw circles being cut and rearranged and new circles forming someone is flying above um trees i can see just the peaks of the trees some of you can fly or they come from um a species that have always been flying and even without vessels so flying with i don't know if you fly or maybe you have this maybe you do a sports where you go skydiving or something or
something with a river flowing I don't know and uh, make sure you rest enough because there's like I'm getting or I just got extremely tired suddenly so the message has come through or has been delivered I hear we'll be back <laughs> I have a very funny okay there's there's a blue head um, you know like we when we speak about aliens we think of those big heads with big eyes and this is a blue head very big eyes but um, it has stars in the cheeks somehow you know things that lighten up look like little stars and it's a being from the universe, I hear. And this being of the universe wants to talk to me next. And it's not today, I hear. Maybe you know this being, because this is the first time that a being has announced itself to speak through me for the next is it the next yes the next session so we'll see okay okay thank you so much for being here this was 1144 could be significant or four four um or one 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 or something numbers could be significant um I can also see someone chewing on something um, gummy-like. <laughs> you are protected, okay? You need to know that you are protected. Um, yeah. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate all of you. Um, I'm so happy to be part of what we have here, um, you know, this group of, I don't know, to be part of all the light workers. Um, I can see, I can feel touch. I don't know, someone might touch you or you might get, um, I don't know, someone that uh, a deceased loved one touching you. We are being guided extremely, like whatever we are doing or saying or thinking, we are being guided. And trust someone needs to trust, trust the process and be faithful to their heart. Okay. Thank you so much. I love you. See you very soon. Bye bye. <laughs>